What's up, guys? Hey, Coach. We're going to go to Corey Glore. All right. Now after this 12 to 4 victory over Rhode Island, Coach, congratulations on the sweep here. And this felt a little bit like yesterday in some regards an early lead, but those middle innings building on when Rhode Island cut it close and making this a, a pretty nice, solid win for you. Yeah, they're all, they're all solid, Corey. Uh, you know, I was really proud of Carson. Carson, uh, you know, was dominant early. You know, walks a guy, guy executes a push bunt. Things start, you know, uh, testing him. You know, that's what happens when you, it's your first college start. Things are not going to go as planned, and you're not just going to strike out the side every time. Uh, I was really happy when I think it became first and third, and it was a three to two game. I think he went back to back punch outs, and a time where, hey, he's a freshman, and he could have went a different way. And I was super proud that he ran off the field and was able to uh, get out of that inning and then go out there and throw one more and just gave us a quality start. I mean, starting pitching, what it's supposed to do is is give you a chance to win. He gave us a chance to win. When he left the game, we were up one run and then pass it on to the bullpen, and I thought the bullpen did a tremendous job uh, altogether. Well, 12 hits on the day. Uh, more so very good base running all series, not just today, but uh, today an example of that as well. Uh, but an all-around performance offensively. Jeff Palumbo does a great job with those those base runners and and knowing when we have an opportunity to run and you know him and I are communicating the entire time and Turner Brown's giving me time so I thought our guys did a good job of putting pressure on uh, some guys that maybe were a tick slower to the plate we knew what the catcher's times were and really doing a good job of that and we were able to extend some innings and get guys in scoring position by stealing some bags and really proud of that. You mentioned the third inning for Wiz and Hunt after Rhode Island cut it to one and the runners on the corner scenarios. Looked like Wiz and Hunt had trouble with the fastball there, so he went to his secondary stuff to get those strikeouts to get out of the inning and then struck out the side in the final inning, mainly off of off speed. That's some maturity there from a freshman in his first career start that's that's rare to see. Yeah, they, the Rhode Island, they're an older team, and they're aggressive to the fastball. Uh, I would say Carson probably threw more off-speed pitches today than he's thrown in any scrimmage that he's faced our guys, which is a credit to him. He's getting more confidence in his changeup for sure. His breaking ball, you could see. I mean, some of those guys were swinging at it before it even got to the dirt, and that's because they have to cheat to get to his fastball. So, Really power stuff, as you guys can see. And, you know, we want him to continue to mature and keep, uh, you know, keep getting his pitch count up. And I think he ended up with like 70 or 72 pitches, 74 pitches. So we were going to get him to 80, but we didn't want to run him back out there since he had 74 pitches. Coach, you know better than most just how difficult it is to sweep a team, particularly after 11 months off. This was quite an achievement for your guys to get their feet back underneath them and start this off 3-0. What a start for you. Super proud of our guys. And what you just said, Corey, you know, people that follow college baseball, and I keep reminding our guys every single day, if you, like, just flip at the scoreboard yesterday, I think, you know, Eastern Kentucky beat Georgia Tech. Of course, Miami was down three runs in the ninth inning to the number one team in the country, Florida. They came back tight. It went to extra innings. Uh, Georgia State, no, no offense to them. West Virginia's ranked. They beat them in a doubleheader yesterday. So it's really hard to win college baseball games. It's not uh, as uh, – there are more upsets on any given day just because you guys have seen today we, we actually got more blue pits than we have all weekend. But we had lined out so much I was telling the guys, hey, this is what happens when you keep getting good swings off. The, the baseball gods will take care of you. You know, like Bryson's ball that they got infield in. He'd been scorching the ball all weekend. And – you know, the infielders and the outfielders can't get to it because infield in right there. So, uh, but our, our guys competed all weekend. I was super proud and happy for them. Congratulations on a great weekend. We will see you Tuesday when Duke's in town. Okay. All right. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Coach Chubb. Okay. We'll open up the questions to Coach Goblin now. Coach, kind of going on what you just talked about, um, you never trailed in a game all weekend, but guys were in different situations where you had to to be in stressful situations and put away the other team, that type of thing. How nice is it when you look at the weekend as a whole to, to do that in each spot each day? Well, we might not have been behind, but it, it was definitely a close game on Friday night and even today and at times yesterday. That's the thing when you look at a final score, sometimes it really doesn't take the entire game unless you look at the box score. And to have Carson, you know, be in some pressure-packed moments early 
in his first start, that's good for him. You know, if he'd have went out there and nobody would have got on base, then he probably thought it would have thought it was easy. And it's not easy. And, you know, getting Danny Bill out there, I think when Danny pitched, it was either a one or two run game, another freshman. And Skylar Brooks getting him on the mound and then him getting a swing off. So a lot of positives. We used the bench definitely a lot on Friday and today. And that's a good thing. The more time we can keep getting guys out there and putting them in those situations, the better we're going to be down the road. Coach, you look like you uh, your team was ready to unleash a little fury today. Um, 12 runs, 12 hits, forced eight errors out of URI. Um, you've been waiting a year to play baseball. And, and, and today kind of, you had the sense that you guys were looking to explode. Well, we talk about, you know, on Sundays, energy and toughness Sunday. It's, it's energy and mental toughness. A lot of times 18 to 22-year-olds think because it's Rhode Island who maybe doesn't host a regional every year uh, that we can just go out there and roll out the balls. And, and I just go back to when Monmouth was in town in 19 and we had a three-run lead. We had our bullpen rested and we blew the three-run lead, and everybody's got a dude out of the bullpen. Some dude rolls out, and it's 90-93 with a slider and a changeup, and you lose the game. So you got to keep your guard up. You don't ever want to put it in the umpire's hands, and you don't want to ever put yourself in a situation where a blue pit can beat you. So we harp on it all the time. They probably don't believe me all the time, but it, as you guys know, baseball doesn't have a clock like football and basketball. So until you get that last out, anything can happen. Well, if what's your biggest takeaway from this weekend? Biggest takeaway, uh, well, I just think what uh, Ronnie was alluding to earlier is that we were put into some stressful situations. No, we didn't trail, but we were tied. We went into extra innings. Uh, even today, we got tested early. It was a three to two game. We had to keep grinding. They would score and for our guys to bounce back. You're going to have some games where you have to, you know, take a blow, throw a blow take a blow, weather the storm, and just keep grinding. And I thought our guys did that this weekend at a high level. We weren't perfect, which I tell our guys, we're not trying to play perfect. We're just trying to play aggressive and execute more times and win more pitches than the other team. Coach, how much do you think it helped Carson just being able to see Cooch and Smith go out there on Friday and Saturday and kind of do it and show them how to get it done? Those older pitchers have been a tremendous asset to Carson, as they have for an entire pitching staff. You talk about Cooch, Smitty, Colmore, Bridges, uh, the conversations that they've had. Uh, Carson can speak more on it as far as what they've said to him. Everybody knows how talented he is. But carsons has he's worked harder this year, and he would tell you that. He's had more intent in what he's doing in his catch play. Uh, he's long toss better. His flat grounds have been better. His bullpens have been better, and it's amazing. Uh, when you put work in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back days and just you're consistently and you're talented like he is, then the sky's the limit. I mean, Carson, if he keeps up doing what he's done to this point, he's just, he's just really scratching the surface on how good he can be. Um, I don't know how many, how many guys he struck out today. Ten. Struck out ten guys, and I did not think that was the best command he's had against us. So, I mean, it was not terrible, but – it was not – now his all-speed pitches were pretty good, but he continues to hone in on that fastball command with that all-speed stuff. Um, we keep getting that pitch count up. I mean, look, he's got a chance to be special, but he knows he's got to go back to work tomorrow. And he can't rest on this. If he rests on this, then Georgia Southern will probably give him some humble pie. Okay, are there any other questions for Coach Godwin? Appreciate okay, you coach. guys. Thanks, Coach. Yep, see you guys on Tuesday. Here's Carson. How's it going? Hey, Carson. Uh, we're just going to go straight to questions for Carson. Carson, can you talk at all about – I hate to bring up last year for you and that, that one outing, but just uh, how different it was for you today compared to that, how much more comfortable you were. I mean, obviously the results are what they are. Um, how much did today feel better for you? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, last year I was uh, a lot more nervous, kind of like felt like I had to prove something that I just didn't need to do. I um, feel like I did too much, and this year I feel like I'm just kind of going out there and controlling what I can and just filling up the zone and letting the defense work. Carson, how much did you talk to Tyler and Cooch this weekend, and how much 
of a help have they been to you getting ready for your first start today? Yeah, so uh, I talked to them about every day. Um, talked to Smitty Friday after he got done, uh, just kind of what he felt, what he was doing on the mound, what was going through his head while he was throwing, and the same thing with Cooch on Saturday. Um, just kind of getting there in their head about like what they were kind of thinking facing that lineup, trying to get those guys with what pitches or whatever they were trying to do. Carson, how good does it feel to get off just to a good start here to start the season? And uh, how much, how relieved are you uh, just to, to have a little success cooking? It feels great. Um, just I've put in a lot of work and I know what I can do. I just got to continue to work hard and, keep going out there and just filling up the zone. That first inning after the three straight strikeouts, what was your adrenaline and kind of momentum like coming off the mound there to, to do that in the first inning especially? Oh, yeah. I felt like uh, after those first three strikeouts, I just kind of wanted to do the same thing the next inning and following that. Um, adrenaline was still high since it was like the first outing of this year. Um, just trying to stick to what I was doing, what I wanted to do that game. And then I was just trying to fill up the zone and let defense do what they can do. What does it mean to you when you hear your head coach talk to how impressed he was about your first start out there today? Yeah, it feels great. Um, we talk a lot about what I've done and what I need to continue to do. Um, he talks highly about me and a lot of the other guys too, but just to hear him talk and like tell him, talk to me about what he knows I can do kind of gives me more confidence on the field and off the field for what I've done and what is ahead for me. Okay, are there any other questions for Carson this afternoon? Okay, Carson, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.